As these guys are turning off their phones, I'll let you know that the old pros are here and they have a great spoken word event based on songs coming up a little later this month. And I want to welcome to the program Lee McMorris and David Mitchell. Thank you guys for joining us. Hi, thank you. Lee's still messing with their phones. So okay. I'll, I'm going to start with you, David. Uh, tell us a little bit about the spoken word event that you have coming up. Well, this is the second annual uh, spoken word that we're going to be doing and it was huge success last year mm -hmm. and this year we have i believe 18 performers individual performers okay. that are not going to sing the song but they're going to talk the song so no singing allowed I, I, I want to correct you. Uh -oh. no, as I said, <laughs> there may be singing around. No, they're, they're not going to talk the song. They're going to act the song. Okay, they're going to perform the song. Let's say perform the song. And that's what I was going to say. What, are they bringing real performance qualities to the song? Oh, are they, oh, are they bringing like yes. emotion or, oh, yes. or humor or, or, or uh, depth of drama to it? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. My gosh, yes. The, the idea for it came actually because I, I had, and he remembers it also, so it tell, tells you where we are as far as the decades go. <laughs> <laughs> and his, what, we, what we heard Steve Allen, Steve Allen being one of the, the great developers of Nately TV. Oh, sure. And he did a bit in which he had his people, and there may be about, were they, were, were about five or six anyway, all dressed formally. I mean, just tuxedos and Boat, white bow ties, marvelous, <laughs> and and they would get up and they would recite one of a lyric, and usually it was a silly one. Right. But they do it with enormous sincerity. <laughs> they deliver. And, and 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 they would look very hurt if you laughed at them. <laughs> you know, we, we, so we so what we're doing, what we're trying to introduce them to, is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Well, in this collection of them. We have both very serious things, mm -hmm. and we have some that are amusing, some that should be amusing and probably aren't. <laughs> so, uh, but, but a selection of them, and a selection of styles. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have those that this is maybe the second or the third thing they've ever done in their life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And at least it's short, right? Uh, instead of committing to a whole play, okay, I'm going to just do a, a two-minute song. Exactly. <laughs> two to two and a half minutes. Exactly. So it's so much easier for that. Now, David, when I hear a song, yeah. there's, all, there's the, the music to it sets the tone. And, and, and there's big rises and choruses and the, what they call the drop and that kind of stuff. So what kind of interpretation do you think that people can bring to a spoken word that gives you a, a whole different feeling? Well, this is definitely going to be different because you have this, this music in your head that you listen to maybe from the 70s or 60s and you know all the words and now all of a sudden people are acting it, not, not, not talking. Performing so, it. How'd I do? <laughs> yeah. it. Let, 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 let's, let's develop that. <laughs> so, so you what, have a total different take mm -hmm. on it. You do because yeah. usually everybody, everybody can hum the thing. Very, not many people get past the first verse. Mm -hmm. And yet what we have are some of the greatest lyricists around with Cole Porter and Anthony Newley and a group of others, I've got them. <laughs> but, the, but, but the lyrics aren't listened to. Mm -hmm. And what we're giving them is we're treating this not, we're treating this as poetry, right. but poetry in many instances talking it. Mm -hmm. Um, Do people discover they did? Oh, I didn't even know that that song was about that. Now that I heard it spoken, like they discover something yes, about the song yeah, they never experienced before. Yeah. Yeah. And some mm -hmm. of them are stories, are actually mm -hmm. stories within the thing, mm -hmm. and some are just nonsense. <laughs> and one of one of the greatest nonsense things I think I ever heard was Danny Kaye doing the Russian composers singing it. Every one of them. <laughs> it was one of the fastest deliveries that was ever done of that song. <laughs> That was early in his career. You know, you know, now, are you performing, David? Are yeah, you? Yes. What and song it, have you chosen? Uh, well, that's a surprise. Oh, OK, I don't want to spoil it. No, no there, spoilers. There are 18 different performers, and I'm coming on last. Oh, so I'm the closing big finale. The, show. the big the, Well, we hope. <laughs> uh, mine, so mine is, uh, so it's, uh, 
It's Will a song you be serious we, or is it going to be comedy? Give me it's that. It's a much song that we all know. <laughs> okay. Everybody knows, and I wrote a skit within the song. Oh wow! Okay. And uh, hopefully, uh, it's going to be very funny. Audience participation is greatly desired, but I think it's going to be going to be pretty funny. Okay, so I want to remind folks when, when and where everything. It's going to be July 24th over at Clubhouse 7. Doors open at 6.30. Show is at 7 p.m. Members are free. Guests are $5 per person. And go to Old Pros for more information on their website or and their email. Uh, tell, what do you think is the most surprising thing about this show that people are going to come away from? The realization that the words really mean something. Mm -hmm. Most people do not ex they don't hear the words. The words are just part of the way to move the song, move the music along. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the words in these things, this is poetry. And uh, uh, that sounds as if it's very high. It isn't. It is heartfelt. Some of it is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Some of it, as I said, is just silly. <laughs> and we hope to give them both senses of it. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, like the Chattanooga Choo Choo. It was, and everybody was doing this, you know, with the train. <laughs> Pardon me, boy. Train wheels going, going round and round. And it, it, the song is still valid, and uh, Tennessee still has the Chattanooga Choo Choo, still has the train there, and it runs through the hills. Still, still yeah. a thing. You know, you know what's funny? <laughs> I don't know the words to any song. I cannot I sing. No, after happy birthday, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad. So this is going to be really fun for me. Well, but it's true. How many people really know anything beyond the first? Right, you know, the cor anything. they'll know a chorus of something, the the big the big yes. the big cell yes. of it, but yes. they don't know the internal uh -huh. words and the story of the inside right, right, the song right. of the lyrics right. and those kinds of things. And there there are several songs that have that type of thing in it, but fortunately we don't do all of them. So. <laughs> no, then the, the, you have some. Uh, one of my favorite ones is, are some of the British ones, like perhaps like uh, Michael Flanders. I'm doing a thing called Have Some Madeira, Madeira. Okay. It's a cautionary tale to young girls. <laughs> so. Just, Simple joys just a and one like, drink more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a great show, and people get out there. I want to do one more time before we go. It's going to be uh, July 24th, Clubhouse 7. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Show is at 7. Old pros are putting on words with no music. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us. You're very All welcome. Right, thank you. Happy to do it. When we come back, we'll be previewing Monday's movie. Stay with us. <laughs>